peep, a peep, a peep, a peep, a peep, a peep. Que pasa, suck, passe, what they do. Welcome to Jamaica Dancehall Source, your source for dancehall and our entertainment. And the first topic that is popping for today is that we see that Alkaline and more specifically his fans, his stands, his bloggers, they are on an all out campaign for start a clash with Alkaline and TJ, dancehall artist TJ. People, they are doing any and everything that they can and it is a very desperate attempt for basically elevate Alkaline's career once again. They are making thumbnails, they are doing videos after videos after videos and people wish that there is some sort of conspiracy as it pertains to two bloggers. And the person that I am speaking about, I am speaking about the big head four-fold one and also the Cub Scout one from Florida, the liar one. Now, people, when we think about the career of an artist such as TJ, TJ has been doing phenomenal in the last two years or so. TJ has a manager, a very good manager, a competent manager in Ramesh. We are talking about Ramesh Entertainment. So, dear, for whatever decision that they make, should those decisions be based upon some blogger and some fans of some artists that's basically struggling and like them say a drowning man clutch it at a straw and people don't get it twisted don't get it misconstrued alkaline is still doing okay because he has a very strong and loyal fan base so therefore we're not going to expect to see him carry a plummet anytime soon however if you check the facts if you check the statistic it is dwindling like a starlight you know what a starlight is after a little while it fears out and why is it phasing out because all of the controversy all of the shock value all of the drama is now gone and he now has to stand on his own two feet him after make the music talk for itself and people we are speaking about since 2016 we see that that is not so good we see that he is struggling to find a bona fide hit he has decent songs without a shadow of a doubt but he is definitely struggling to find a hit so the point that i am trying to make is that if an artist that is elevating himself in the last two or three years that has proper management shouldn't those decisions be made by the artist and his said management whether they want to engage any sort of artist in a clash whether it is good, whether it is bad for their career, whether it is detrimental to their career, or should they base their decision off of some blogger that basically don't have no common sense, that are so desperate that the only thing that they are looking for is their own self-interest and their own motive. I am speaking about their ulterior motive to elevate Alkaline once again because people, the truth and the facts that based on what I see and people, let me put it out there, I am not a fan of Alkaline. I think that he was a good artist before 2016. His better days are far behind him, point blank and period. However, people like them say, the fool is always the last we know. So the point that I am trying to make is that his fans and his stands and his bloggers still think that he is the greatest thing since sliced bread. However, time will tell. Point blank and period. Now people don't get it twisted, don't get it misconstrued. Don't think that these dancehall artists don't watch these bloggers because the truth and the fact that I am not saying that these bloggers are trash or they are garbage. They are actually decent or good bloggers. However, they are suffering from something that we call mental retardation. And even if they are not suffering from that, they basically have a scamming mentality. They are trying to lure the artist. They are trying to fool these persons. We are talking about the people in the dancehall space. And the truth and the fact is that it seems like some fans of certain artists, they are not the sharpest tool in the shed. That means that them head not too bright, them nah no head. So therefore they believe any and everything that these persons post on social media because like me said, they are easily misled. However, it seems like TJ saw these posts also and it seems like his cup has run it over and he made a response. We are speaking about on Instagram, on his Instagram live. And 
when he was basically dissing Alkaline and also dissing the bloggers. However, if you are not a smart person, you would not see that. Some see some people are say he is dissing Alkaline, he is dissing the fans, Rete, Lele, Blue, Blah, Bling. But the truth and the fact is that if you listen exactly what he said, he said that he is not going to clash any fish artist. TJ also mentioned that some man too idle and them need to go find some good song and some man need to go find some picnic rate, lele, blue, blah, bling. Now, if we listen to TJ's post and we take it at face value, it sounds like he is subliminally dissing Alkaline. However, if you dig deep within, you can see that he is also dissing some blogger. Because people, the truth and the facts that we see most of these bloggers, they claim that they are artists or they are aspiring artists. However, the truth and the facts that if they really knew or if they really saw what is going on out there as it pertains to talent, they have zero to minus talent point blank and period so the point that i am trying to make is that i would be very surprised if one of those bloggers actually had a hit song we are speaking about from now till the next 10 years or maybe 20 years we are talking about maybe 50 years point blank and period so therefore we see that tj is not only dissing alkaline he is not only dissing the fans but he is also dissing the bloggers because they are the ones that are out there that are creating this mystery they are the ones that are out there that are trying to scam these persons on social media and we are talking about the dancehall fans and specifically we are talking about the alkaline fans point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up so the next thing that is popping in the dancehall and entertainment news is that we see that there's a video out there on social media and it shows, it clearly shows Vibes Cartel walking up and down in the big yard where I talk about the prison yard. And people, when I saw this video, I said to myself, is this an older video? Is this a video that was done before the little incident as it pertains to the life? And we saw that we are talking about the Department of Correction. They also did a sweep and basically took it all sort of phone and contraband. People, it seems like if I was to take a guess, I would say that this video was done before that. So people don't get it twisted, don't get it misconstrued. I am not saying that this video is old. I am just saying that more than likely, this video predated we are speaking about before that date. However, it also shows that Vice Cartel, any sighting of Vice Cartel is much more influential, will also buzz on social media more than most dancehall artists. I mean, I talk about some top artists too. So people, the question that I am asking is this. Do you think that Vibes Cartel can remain relevant more than most artists by just making a simple post on social media? May I talk about Instagram, may I talk about Facebook? Do you think that a video we are speaking about a 10 or a 15 minutes clip or 15 seconds clip of Vibes Cartel is more relevant and is going to buzz more than most artists in the dancehall space and people? If you know any artists that say that they are top of the top artists, that a Vibes Cartel 15 second video is more influential or will buzz more upon social media put down them name in the comment section because you know say we're not afraid of people people afraid of we point blank and peer now people like me say in the dancehall space it seems like dancehall has plummeted so far that persons are more interested by a post by vice cartel a simple post just talking about his appeal decision that he is going to the privy council or if there's just a little sighting we are talking about like them see et or like them see some sort of ufo people are always going to talk about vice cartel vice cartel is always a topic of conversation more than some artist career more than some artist song so people the moral of the story is this it shows that dancehall needs vice cartel and people i don't know what is going to happen as it pertains to his appeal as it pertains to going to the privy council we are speaking about in uk however what i do know without vice cartel in the dancehall space dancehall is basically relegated to d-e-a-d -E there is no other artist right now i may I talk about the six may I talk about tj may I talk about alkaline there is no other artist out there that is like vice cartel point blank and period 
God. They just don't have what it takes. They don't have that HIT and people don't get it twisted, don't get it misconstrued. I am not dissing these artists and saying that they are trash or garbage. Me just as say, the pulling power that Vice Cartel has, the influence that Vice Cartel has, what Vice Cartel has contributed to the music. And we are talking about the dance hall space locally and internationally. He is the one that can take it to a next level. So the point that I am trying to make is that based on what is going on, based on the results of his appeal's decision, based on the fact that he will now have to wait at least a couple of years before he is free, if at all free, people, dance hall need Vice Cartel point blank and period. Without Vice Cartel, dance hall is boring. Dance hall has basically relegated to a non-factor point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.